being recorded. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Jennifer is out um, this week, so I'm filling in for her. I'm Amanda, I'm the clinic manager in Coralville. Um, today, we're gonna be talking about feeling your exercise and when to work out. Um, make sure we are feeling our bodies correctly before and after workouts. Um, it is ideal to have small meals or snacks about one to three hours prior to working out. Um, larger meals should be about three to four hours post-workouts. Um, eating big meals before a workout can lead to feeling sluggish, feeling full, and potentially making you sick while you're working out. Um, small meals help get energized and ready, to, and ready for our workouts. Um, another big reason um, is when we eat, our digestive um, process begins at salvation. So a small meal, big meal, um, right before we work out is not ideal because it's actually taken away from our energy source. Um, all of our energy is going towards digestion. It's going to be focused on breaking down the foods, the nutrients, and doing what it needs to do. So taking the energy that needs to be used for our workouts, we can maximize our potential. Those are the main reasons we want to make sure we're eating small meals or snacks within that one to three hours prior to working out. Um, when we think about what we need to need in order to do a workout or what we need for energy, we need to get most of our energy from carbohydrates, from glucose. So we want to focus on those foods that are going to bring us a lot of nutrient density, some energy through carbs or glucose. And it's going to look like oatmeal, fresh fruits, frozen fruits, um, fruit and veggie smoothies are a really good one. Um, you can also drink those and get extra protein from like Greek yogurt or almond milk, whatever it is that you use to make your smoothies. Um, trail mix is a really good pre-workout snack. Um, and then caffeine is also really good to be used before a workout. So doing some sugar-free options or like black coffee or black tea is a good idea. Um, what should we eat post-workout? So when we're going to replenish our glucose, we're going to want to also make sure we are consuming protein to help rebuild our muscles. Um, so we want to make sure we're having a good balance within two hours of that workout. That's when you're going to be able to maximize and replenish what your body lost during the workout. Um, good examples would be like quinoa, roasted vegetables, um, salmon, eggs, um, Ezekiel bread, Greek yogurt and granola is also a good option. Just make sure you do like more of a sugar-free granola option. Um, nuts are always really good to do that. Um, just use things like my plate for a visual for half veggies, quarter protein, um, quarter grains, just so you kind of have an idea of having a balanced diet post-exercise. Um, the last thing I want to talk about obviously is hydration. So oftentimes hydration is forgotten about in all aspects of our journey. Um, we want to make sure that we're um, staying hydrated throughout the day. We also want to make sure we replenish the water that we lost during our workouts. So if you're doing like a light intensity workout, like stretch or yoga, you're not sweating as much. So you won't really need to hydrate as much as if you're doing like heavy lifting or anything that's going to cause you to sweat a lot. But if you're perspiring a lot, um, you want to make sure that you're replenishing that water. So making sure you're aiming for that 64 ounces um, of water total throughout the day. If you're doing a long workout, um, you want to make sure that you're replenishing your electrolytes also. Um, this can be come from foods or drinks. Just make sure you're focusing on foods or drinks with potassium, magnesium, and calcium. Next big question I also get asked is when is it best to work out, morning or nighttime? Um, this one, I'm going to give you a very vague answer. It's not very black or white. Um, it's really person specific. So the answer to that is whatever fits in your schedule and whatever leads to consistency. There are small benefits, obviously, to working out in the morning versus working out in the evening or vice versa. But ultimately, it's just the idea of being consistent. If you are someone who absolutely has to work out first thing in the morning, great. That's going to be what's best for you. But if you have maybe a more demanding job, then maybe you can't get it in until after dinner time. That's also fine too. Um, with nighttime or evening workouts, it's recommended not to exercise two hours before bed. Um, because obviously you're getting your endorphins up, 
and you're getting energized. So that kind of can lead to some sleep disturbances. Some people, it helps them sleep better. It just also depends. It's person specific. It's not clear cut for anybody. Um, for morning workouts, it has been shown to improve overall sleep and energy throughout the day. Um, you're also starting your day out with a workout. You give your natural energy and you'll be more awake and more energized. So that's kind of a benefit for the morning workouts. The best way to determine out, to determine when to work out is what's sustainable for your lifestyle. When you can, when can you be the most consistent with your workout and what time is best that you can feel your body post-workout. So those are the things to keep in mind when you're trying to determine when you're going to work out and what works out best for your life. Um, key obviously is always going to be consistency. If you can't be consistent with your workout, um, it's not going to be beneficial for you. And then also making sure that we were replenishing our body with the nutrients in the uh, water that we lose when we do do our workouts. Um, that's all I have for you. Jennifer should be back next Tuesday. Um, if you want to, go ahead and call your offices and get scheduled with a free 20 minute consultation with her. So she can go kind of go over some ideas of what's best for you for your one-on-one -on -one health coaching. Also reach out to one of our consultants if you're interested in our weight loss programs or are even having your hormones checked. Um, we'll see you next week.